Hello guys, it's me Jasper again, and we are playing Insanity Flife. Welcome to my channel again. Um, this is going to be my third video, and I hope you enjoy my video guys. Um, anyway, my voice today is not so good because like I'm having a sore throat, but I'll try to explain everything and what we're going to do today. Today we are going to do the Cove Dungeon. Okay, some of you might notice, what is the Cove Dungeon in Insanity 5? Um, the, code, uh, the Cove Dungeon is very essential in playing Insanity 5 because this is the area where you will get most of the um, Crystal Enhancement Stones, Crystal Enhancement Scrolls, and Crystal Enhancement Success Scrolls. These are very essential when you are going to do the upgrading of your crystal items. Now, as what you can see, I have just entered Cove, and I recommend that in Cove you do the full strength because in this area the monsters, the boss monsters, are not so tough. So today I'm gonna go full strength. As what you have noticed, um, Cove monsters they do deal damage a lot, a lot of damage. Um, sometimes I die also in Cove if my HP is like around 2.5 million, but I just survived because my my character is a little bit uh, fast and it kills uh, bosses. Now, um, <clears throat> let's do the full strength and then I will show you the rest of the dungeon for today. If you are going to be uh, entering Cove for the first time, I recommend that you do Google, Google Maps and then search Cove, Cove map in Sanity Flive because it do help a lot if you're not familiar with the mini bosses because normally in Cove before you kill the boss monster you have to kill the mini boss first you have to be very careful with uh, Cove though because most of the monsters in Cove they are very um, aggressive especially the red ones they do attack you as soon as the you go closer to them. Um, in this area, most of the uh, mobs are being um, farmed by Arcanist, Mentalist, and also Seraph. In this mobs, this is where you get the CES or the Crystal Enhancement uh, Scrolls and also the Stones. Now in this area, I'm going to the first mini boss. The first mini boss, I do a lot of damage in this area because like, it's probably because of my element. My knuckle, um, I, I have like a water element on my knuckle. So I guess this boss is kind of weak with the water element. So yeah, uh, I recommend you go far, far away from those uh, bats because they hit a lot, a lot. Okay, all right, and this boss monster, they, they drop like um, monster stones, yeah, monster stones, and then this monster stone, you can um, exchange them in flowers, they normally give like fashions, um, transmutes, um, buff pangs, runes, so yeah, it's kind of nice to have this monster stones, if you have them in, a, if you have them a lot, then they're kind of, helpful for you especially when you're a starter and if you don't want to spend um, uh, eye points on the item mall then if you want to rely everything in game then yeah you better keep as much red chips moonstones up uh, monster stones blue chips so uh, we are going to the second boss now the second boss actually is quite strong so you have to be very careful because the mini mushroom, uh, is it a mushroom? It does look like a, a mushroom. This mini mushroom, they do hit a lot of critical damage. But if you don't have uh, this one, this one, I'm going to kill them. If you don't have a good critical block rate, then they do hit huge criticals. I'm not sure what is the element of this um, mini monster, but so far my damage is not that bad. In full strength. As long as you hit fast and you kill them fast, then there's no problem. The only thing with uh, Force Master's PVE, I dodge PVE type, is the hit rate is quite really fast though. That's why I kind of prefer them rather than having the Slayers. Well, Slayers hit really good damage, but it's a little bit for me. Slayers are a little bit slow when it turns to like, you know, killing. 
but they do give lots of damage the slayers because most of their damage it becomes times two um, slayers are quite good for long-term um, boss hunting for example Kalo or encrypt yes they, they do give like huge damage if you are a mentalist a mentalist would be good in co because like you can do both, you know, the boss, the mini bosses and this mobs. Mentalist or Arcanist, they have like um, good AoE skills. I recommend every time you go to Kolo, uh, sorry, not Kolo, to Cove, um, you kill all this aggressive because like, they do drop like CES and stones. And even if you just kill the aggressive ones, at least you have something. And then CES, you can actually solve them in the market for like around. Right now, the the CES is really cheap because the last time I was selling CES, it was like around 300, um, 300 parents per box per 1,000 pieces. All right, let's kill this boss. I recommend that if you go cold, you do full prems. But right now I'm not on full prem because like I'm missing some prems. I'll probably hunt them later on. So far, it's not that bad. Now we had uh, we killed the third boss. Now we're going to the main boss, main um, cove boss. Normally the cove boss drops like um, crystal, crystal transmute um, stuff, like a. a could be like a blue shield or blue staff, blue uh, something blue crystal, which is nice because like it's uh, rare. You don't find them in the NPC. You have to hunt them. That's what's good with hunting. Um, <laughs> this is what's exciting about PVE. It's like you can uh, get items that are not you know um, available in the NPC. So once you see this crystal spiders or whatever, they look like uh, critters, crystal critters, or I don't see their names. Um, these uh, are actually the sign that you're almost uh, there, the main boss. Remember that the main boss do critical hits a lot. So the faster you kill it, the better, the higher chance of survival you have, actually. <laughs> So oh, yeah, I'm a little bit, my connection is a little bit laggy this time, but yeah, we'll try to manage it. Alright, let's kill all these aggressives first, so that I don't have any aggressive um, mobs hitting me when I do the boss hunt, the main boss killing, well, killing the main boss. Alright, it would be much faster though if this is like a, an arcanist or a mentalist or a seraph clearing all these mobs I cannot use my MP because like most of the force master has this uh, skill that reduces the MP into one <laughs> normally force masters have like awesome awesome um, MP skills all right I'm just gonna hit them one by one the maximum drops of um, crystal enhancement success scrolls around here is like around five pieces. If you're lucky, you will get five or th four. If you're not lucky, you'll get you're gonna get like around two or three. <laughs> Let's see how much we'll get. All right, we're almost there. This is the last boss, guys. So once you see them, we prams, we buff, and just hit the boss as fast as you can there you go there you go I think it takes like around six seconds for the boss to hit back but yep my boss is dead so that's the end of the video guys I got like around that's how many I get three three crystal enhancement uh, scroll success scrolls so yeah so guys thank you very much for watching my um, vlog and I hope you enjoy the co-hunt next we're gonna do the um, catacombs hunt Ciao!